Shalom, Shalom, brothers and sisters. We just got a few verses on fearing the Lord. Shalom. Okay, y'all. Uh, we're going to start with Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Shalom. Fools. Right there is one of the key words in this verse. Mm -hmm. A fool will not listen. If he does, it probably will be for a short period of time. Yeah. And what your mom always say, I'm going to tell your father. So that's why you need to fear the father. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord is, is the only way to, to, to figure out how to understand the Bible. Mm -hmm. Fearing the Lord is the only way that you're going to really start to repent. Mm -hmm. um, and when you, when you, when you, you on the foolish side, you despise that wisdom. You, you, you don't really want to humble yourself to learn and, and keep upright with the most you. high yeah. Yahweh. Um, but that, that, that's the first thing you got to do is fear the Lord, man. You have to fear the Lord to begin to learn how to understand. Yeah. It is the beginning of wisdom and the beginning of instructions. All right, we're going to start with, uh, we're going to go with um, Psalms 111 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. That's yeah. forever. F yeah. Fear the Lord, man, because right now we living in some uh, real crazy times. You know what I'm saying? And, and the only thing we going to have is this word that's going to hold us, you know, steady. And, you know, like I say, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord and understand that you have to, you have to. Humble your mind, humble your thoughts, humble your ways, change your 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 patterns, uh, and that starts with fearing the Lord. That that starts with uh, the understanding of fearing the Lord. What happens when you fear the Lord, and what He'll actually do for you if you do sincerely fear the Lord. That's when you come into a different threshold and a different part of your life it's one thing saying it and it's another thing doing it mm -hmm. um, roughly paraphrasing works without faith you know it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna happen good for anybody if you if you got faith without works i mean you know that's what you need you need the works to go with the faith that's the fear of the lord it's the beginning of knowledge. Uh, we got another verse here. I'm going to go with Isaiah. Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge is the... It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. There it is. There it is again. The fear of the Lord. Yeah, and you and and uh, wisdom and knowledge is the stability of thy time, and we gotta have it to understand what's going on out here. It it, it becomes a treasure mm -hmm. when you when you understand the fear and when you understand um what happens after you actually fear the Lord. It becomes a, a, actually a good thing. So he, he's going to look out for you and take care of you through the fear of him. See, that's that's how it works. So fear the Lord, y'all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end this one. We thank you. Shalom. Shalom. And peace.